Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday lauded the new Korchi Metro for its special attention to ensuring women and transgender people are active in the operation of its rail network. Nearly 1,000 women and 23 transgenders are being selected to work in Korchi Metro Rail System. In fact, Korchi Metro Rail Limited is the country's first government agency to hire transgender people. Many of them were also present at PM Modi's inauguration of the Metro. The PM also commended the project's Make in India vision. The new rail system's coaches reflect the Make in India vision. They have been built by Alstom near Chennai and have an Indian component of around 70%, the PM added. Here are 10 important facts about Korchi Metro. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the first phase 13.2 km of the total 25 km stretch. The Prime Minister, along with other dignitaries, undertook a ride from the stations of Pilaravatan to Pathadipalam in the city. With 11 stations covering nearly 13 km, from Pilaravatan to Aluva, this is the longest first phase of the metro to be inaugurated. By road, it takes around 45 minutes to travel from Aluva to Palaravatam. The metro will limit the travel time to 23 minutes. The Korchi metro is the first in India to use communication-based train control technology to maximize frequencies and minimize errors. Each station will showcase a theme such as maritime history, western guards as well as the local history of the city, among others. Each station on the Korchi metro will have solar panels, which will focus on producing 35% of the total power usage. The Korchi metro rail corporation has also decided to employ transgender people in stations. The construction of the Korchi Metro began in 2013 and was tasked to the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. According to the Korchi Metro website, the project cost an estimated rupees 5,180 crore. FNF News Report. <laughs>